Hey guys and welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to get on the Media Fusion cells in Fallout 4 and how to get the Righteous Authority slash the Junk Jet. So, um, in order to start this process, you have to get out of the vault, finish the quest that Codsworth gives you, and then start heading towards Diamond City. You should run into these Brotherhood agents right here. And they will give you a, first you will get a, a frequency on your radio they have to listen into and then come and help them out with these ghouls that are attacking them. Now the ghouls that are attack them are not that hard to kill but easy at the same time. Next, you'll have to talk to Paladin Dance, and then he will tell you to resupply in the police station. Once you finish resupplying, you will go over to Paladin Dance and tell him you are ready to go. What you are going to do now is you are going to do a quest called Call to Arms. This quest, um, I mean, what you have to do in this quest is follow him all the way to our jet systems something like that and then on the way there you will run into some raiders um some flies and mongrels once you've arrived you will have to simply just by the way before you get there you have to be near him all the time while following him. If you go too far or stay back behind, he will stop and wait for you. So keep that in mind. You can't skip ahead. You have to follow him. Once you arrive at Arctic Systems, you go inside and follow him. Then you will go all the way through and then you will reach a terminal. Once you reach the area, you don't want to go in that corner by the way, I got stuck up there. Um, once you reach the area, you will see a terminal. You need advanced to unlock it. but you could also, um, as you can see, I forgot. You could also come over here to the terminal to the left of it, and then you will get the password out of the automated password change. Once you go over to the next terminal, you can automatically unlock it with the password. Then you will open the door. Once you open the door, there will be some synths that you have to get through. If you don't have any good weapons, you could simply get a institute pistol and use that. They do have some fusion cells, but it won't be enough to get you through the whole game. Once you've done that, in the next room, there aren't many items, but once you go through the red pa passageway, you will um, fight a lot more since.
Once you follow him down, you will see the area at the bottom. This is where the synths will come down with the fusion cells. Pad and Dance will stay there. There, is, there are two doors that you can open and close once you turn on the power. In order to turn on the power, you have to go up into the next room. Once you arrive in this room, you will be able to get the junk jet, but I got it later. And don't, once, in order to turn on the power, you need to hack a terminal. I got lucky and I got it on the second try. Once you've done that, you want to go to power options and start auxiliary power. There is also a fusion cell to the left of you when you finish hacking. You can go ahead and grab that as well. Once you're done doing that, you can close the doors and then here is the last step of getting the unlimited fusion cells. Pilot and Dance will just fight the synths until there's no more that come. And here's the junk jet as well. It's a good weapon for good damage and also if you want to get rid of junk. Pilot and Dance will fight them until they stop coming. Once, once you once you are either tired of this and want to end it, you could simply press the engine button, but don't press it at the start or else no sense will come. As you can see now that I'm done, you could simply pick up everything and once there's nothing left, you could just drop all the extra weapons you got and they will all have fusion cells. Well, not all of them. Some of them will only have shock batons. But this is the end of this video and the end of the tutorial for getting unlimited fusion cells. I'll see you guys. You guys didn't think I would end the video there. I started to tell you how to get the Righteous Authority. In order to get the Righteous Authority, you have to end the mission. So finish it up and do what Todd and Dance tells you to do. When you finish, you will go up an elevator and go outside. Then you talk to Pilot and Dance. He gives you the option to join the Brotherhood and he gives you his gun, the Righteous Authority. This is the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces, this time it's for real.